It's summertime here in California, and we're doing some stuff. So there's three Corollas here right now. None of them have working AC. Long time coming, I really want to make a drop-in vintage air kit. So that's everything in the interior and everything in the engine bay to get working modern AC in a 886 chassis. So if you can see, we got a bunch of bookmarks in our vintage air book. We got um, all the HVAC stuff out of the Corolla. And yeah, we'll talk a little more about the project. Steven wanted to see how much all the old HVAC stuff weighed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You can speak into that. Cool. Or do I say that? So we have the scales out here, and we have Steven out here, because this is, Steven's got the test car. And Woo! And, St yeah. <laughs> and Steven wanted to see how much all the old uh, HVAC stuff weighed. Okay, it's box one. 16, 14. Sweet. Box two. 7-Eleven. Oh, sweet. Last one. Six point zero eight. Sweet. So then that's about thirty-two pounds, about there. So all is out is like thirty-two pounds out. So first of all, thank you, Eric Teddy, who gave us the idea that a vintage air kit was even possible in the first place. So Eric had a vintage air certified shop install his vintage air kit. And so from his parts receipt, it looked like he used a Gen 2 Mini. So if we see the Gen 2 Mini 19 by 9 by 7 about, and since we have all the HVAC stuff out, we'll use our tape measure to give us a ballpark about to see where this guy fits. If you can imagine, there's three boxes. 19 is barely just one of these boxes. The whole HVAC unit probably extends out to here. So if you guys can see 19, we actually have a lot of room we can play with to put that HVAC box lengthwise. And then the tallest is nine. I think the tallest on the OEM HVAC box was 13. So even at nine, it looks like we got plenty of room. So a lot of the air ducting we're gonna save because it'll actually help us out. So these vents are for the for the forward-facing vents, like the face. Um, we plan to just block off this backside and then attach a hose from the vintage air unit. Um, instead of having to like replicate this shape and then the other part that we're gonna have to figure out a solution for this square is for the defrost vents so we're gonna have to make it find or make an adapter uh, for it's like four and three quarters by by four and then it needs to go into actually a Y no yeah a Y and then there's two defrost vents in that Gen 2 uh, vintage air unit. But otherwise, actually not so bad. Uh, we should be able to retain a lot of the, or actually two key critical factory air ducts. All right, so the wagon seems to be very popular on YouTube. The other chassis you guys probably know that I want to get AC back into is this guy. And uh, we'll take a look into the engine bay and see what my plan is. So you guys probably already know, I refreshed all the foam and uh, in the HVAC in the interior. So what I'm going to try to do is just get a engine bay only AC kit. So what does that mean? Um, use the Vintage Air Sandin compressor. I'm gonna try to make a custom compressor bracket that bolts to the 3TC and then um, Condenser, receiver, dryer, and then the lines will all be brand new vintage air stuff and everything inside the cabin will be TE72 stuff. So, so these are where the factory um, high and low side AC lines come out of. The thing I will need for this is 
adapter fittings to convert from the um, from the Toyota lines into like the size 10 or size 8 vintage airlines so once I have these two adapter fittings I think that might be just the biggest hurdle everything else should uh, should be relatively straightforward.